Hey everybody and welcome to today's video on how to mail merge using Microsoft Outlook. Now, mail merge with Microsoft Outlook can be extremely useful and save a lot of time because it allows you to send out mass emails and personalize each one. Uh, the reason it saves time is because you only need to create one email and then you're going to merge your contacts or your data file uh, in that one email so when it sends it out it includes the unique information. So it includes each person's name or address or whatever information that you like to include in that. Uh, before we actually go through the the tutorial, the walkthrough of uh, Mail Merge in Outlook, uh, there is an actually a much easier and much faster way of sending out mass emails, sending out bulk emails and doing Mail Merge. I created a shortcuts for email video you can find a link to it somewhere here, either on the screen or below or down to the side. So uh, that video is shortcuts, mass email shortcuts. So uh, if you want a faster and much easier way of doing it, then I recommend that you check that video. out. Okay, so now we're going to get started with our tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Microsoft Outlook. Okay, so now that we have Microsoft Outlook open, uh, make sure you go down to the contacts uh, section okay so once you're on the contact section or uh, in your Outlook then you simply we're going to first first we're going to select the, the contacts that we want to send our messages to and then once we have selected our contacts then we're going to create an email and then once we've created an email then we'll perform the mail merge and then send them out so that is the, the game plan so uh, in selecting your contacts, you go to your contacts folder and you select what it is you'd like to, which folder it is you'd like. Now, let's say you have all your contacts in one folder and you don't want to send to all your contacts. You want to create a separate folder with just your prospects or just your, your existing customers. What you do is you would right click here and then select new folder. And then that actually brings up a dialog box here, in which case you can go through and name it whatever you want. And then once you click OK, then you'll see over here test folder. So let's say that test group, this mail merge group two was my main contacts, and these were, you know, these are all obviously. Um, uh, created for the purpose of this video but let's say these are all my contacts and I only wanted these two to send a mail merge to these two what I can do is press control and highlight the two that I want and then I drag and drop it into this new folder and then what that does is everyone in that folder I can then go ahead and send off my a mail merged message or my email message uh, if you have a lot of contacts a shortcut uh, you can press control a and it will highlight all the contacts that you have and then you press control press and hold control again and then simply deselect the ones that you don't want to send to and then you can dra drag and drop over to that folder so um, I'm going to go ahead and put them back into this mail merge group two folder so once you have that then you are all set in terms of your addresses and the people who you want to send to so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Microsoft Outlook Microsoft Word sorry and then we're going to create our message in Microsoft Word and then combine the two so let me jump over to Microsoft Word Okay, so now I'm back in Microsoft Word and I have a document that I had created. This is a sample document that I had already created and what I'd like to do on this one is where it says dear, I would like to go ahead and insert the person's first name and where it says we're looking for a dream client in, I'd like to insert the city as well as the state. Okay, so in order to do the mail merge, what we're going to do is we'll go up to the tab on the top, go all the way over to where it says mailings. 
Now, once you're in mailings, you know, you're going to click on select recipients. And then we are going to, you have the option between typing a new list, using an existing list, or selecting from Outlook contacts. Uh, if you have a Excel spreadsheet or an access uh, database that you'd like to use, then you'd select use existing list. In this case, we're going to use uh, Outlook contacts. So we select from Outlook contacts. Uh, it takes a second to open up, but once it does, you'll see that there are there are a number of different uh, groups, a number of different folders. Uh, if you recall, if you recall, we had we we used we created the mail merge group two uh, was the one that we said we we're going to be using. So we select that folder and click OK. So now what that does is. It's telling the system, okay, we're going to be merging our content with the information in this specific folder. Uh, I know that it brings up this dialog box. You can then see the information. You can preview uh, the information in your contacts folder. If you wanted to uh, not send to a particular person, you could then go through here and deselect it, and then it would skip that record. Uh, in this case, we're going to we, we, we created a, 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 a dummy text, so uh, we'll just select OK. OK, so now it has, you notice that these are now uh, displayed because there is information for it to draw from. So we want to insert the name. Now, there are two default. There's an address block and then a greeting line. And these are just the default ones that they use. But if we want to go specific, we click Insert Merge Field. And in this case, we want to use just the first name. So we click on First. And then we scroll down. And here, again, we said we wanted to uh, have the letter say, you know, Dear, and then the person's first name. We're looking for a dream client in. And then we're going to put City and State. So uh, put a space, <clears throat> Insert Field. And then we're going to select city comma and then go again insert merge field and then go state uh, and then we can delete the space here because it will it will automatically uh, format it cor correctly so now that we have that we can go through and we can then click on finish mail merge Actually, before we do finish mail merge, let us preview our results. So as you can see here, it says, Dear Jeff, we're looking for a dream client in Atlanta, Georgia. And if we go up here, <clears throat> it says, Dear Jane. And it, as you can see, let me highlight merged fields so it's easier to see. So OK, Dear Jane, Miami, Florida. Uh, Dear John, Los Angeles, California. Uh, Bob in Austin, Texas. So as, as you can see, it inserts the information that I wanted to insert uh, into the individual letter. Now, this is a sample letter if you're wondering. I know some people uh, may be wondering what, you know, what is this sample letter. This is a letter that we send to our clients uh, for a consulting business. So if you actually want to see this letter, then I'll, I'll put a link to the full letter uh, somewhere in the description or on the page. Um, so yeah, once you have that, then the next thing is to click on finish and merge. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask you, okay, do you want to edit individual documents? Editing individual documents, what that does is it will open a Word document with the same number of recipients. So if you have if you're if you're sending a hundred emails, then it will open a hundred copies of a uh, hundred pages rather of the word document and then it would already have everything nail merged in it so you can edit them individually you can print them or in this case we can send emails so to send out the email all we have to do is simply put input a subject line uh, so the subject line says this mail merge tutorial is great And then we would click on OK. And then that's pretty much it. Now it's going to connect to Microsoft Outlook and it will send it out. 
So that's really all there is to uh, doing a mail merge with Microsoft Outlook. Uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, there's actually an easier way of doing it and there's a video shortcuts for mass email you can check that video out uh, some of the drawbacks of doing a mail merge is that you are not able to you don't have the flexibility so you can't schedule an email in the future uh, you can't automate it uh, it's not necessarily scalable so if you're sending you know a few emails 10 20 emails 30 emails something small scale then it works fine but if you're doing over 50 emails a lot of internet service providers actually have they place a limit on the number of emails you can send uh, in any given day uh, in my case I know that when I started my business I tried to send over 250 and I got a message saying that 250 emails uh, was a limit for my daily limit for my internet service provider so you know it's not practical if you're trying to send out uh, more than a, you know two if you're sending out large numbers of emails and if you're doing it uh, on repetitively if you're doing an email marketing campaign it's not very practical I would suggest that uh, you check out the video with the mass email shortcuts because that way it's a lot easier and it is scalable you can send out you know 10,000 emails in uh, less than 30 seconds so uh, I would definitely advise that you check that out the the other thing with with mail merge that you need to uh, to to be aware of is that it doesn't show it does there's no tracking it doesn't show who opens it uh, who opens your email it doesn't show who clicks uh, it doesn't show which ones are which emails are bones which emails are bad and uh, if you send out emails repeatedly to bad email addresses then what will happen is that you know ultimately your emails will be marked as spam by Google and and uh, Hotmail and Yahoo and all these other services and that ultimately decreases your deliverability and decreases your results so uh, again, mail merge is a great program, but if you understand the your restrictions uh, of using it, then it saves a lot of time. But again, I strongly recommend that you go ahead and check out the mail merge shortcuts for mass emails because that allows you to send as many emails as you like, uh, and it does it quickly, and it provides all the automation and all the tracking and stuff that uh, Microsoft Outlook does not. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, leave them in the description, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Okay, this is Anton, and enjoy the rest of your day. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video on mass email shortcuts. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create, personalize, and instantly send 1,000 emails for free.